Okay, we can uh, get it started. To, uh, welcome to today's Learning Corner, uh, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever uh, you're watching from and uh, your convenience, probably on your mobile phone. Uh, let us know if you watch it on desktop. It, it helps us uh, uh, understand our audience better. Uh, so Learning Corner is is... Is a series every week we come up with one learning corner which uh, helps the healthcare professionals uh, to learn better. Uh, that there are uh, aspects which uh, are very important for career growth. Uh, usually we uh, do not get these aspects as part of our uh, school or as part of our uh, uh, experience. So we are there to help uh, to uh, bridge that gap. So let's start uh, another episode of uh, Learning Corner, and this 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 episode will be very very interesting. Uh, today I am going to talk about uh, uh, a very uh, famous, uh, or I, I would say not not that famous as well, but a very well respected uh, healthcare professional. I have uh, studied many healthcare professionals, but but I think. Uh, this, this person is, is, is very, uh, very unique in, in, uh, his career journey, uh, in, uh, uh, in, 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 in his approach. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll study him today for, for eight to 10 minutes. And, uh, I hope, uh, you, uh, uh, you like what I, what I, uh, mentioned about him or my specific perspective, uh, about him. So welcome to Learning Corner, everyone. Uh, let's let's start about uh, about uh, about a healthcare professional. Uh, this 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 uh, healthcare professional is is uh, uh, is is, uh, uh, is 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 actually started as 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 a law student. Uh, eventually, uh, he thought uh, law is not for him, and then uh, he re-enrolled himself in in uh, in medical school. Uh, uh, and then he graduated as, a, as, as, a, as a, as a physician. His, uh, uh, his name is Ignaz. Uh, if you have heard about his name, I, I think it is, it is very good. If, if not, just listen to this uh, story till the end. Uh, Ignaz's uh, career journey is, is, uh, is, is very, uh, very interesting and, and filled with a lot of, uh, ups and downs, uh, from which, Definitely, we can learn a lot. Uh, so we are looking at, uh, at, at I believe, uh, close to one fifty years or so. So th think about, uh, uh, think about the context to which, uh, which, which exists. You might have seen in movies uh, where, where uh, uh, the sets are created for thirty years, forty years, fifty years, or maybe hundred years back. So, so it's it's even very hard to imagine those things. But we now we are looking at uh, a healthcare professional. Uh, uh, post uh, uh, 150 plus uh, years or so. Uh, so as I mentioned, Ignaz is, is, is started with law school, completed his uh, education uh, in medical, became a physician and then uh, uh, joins a hospital. Uh, I think this is, this is in, in very older days. So you can imagine what would be the, the situation of, of hospitals. I think right now, uh, right now a formal education uh, for med school exists and then then uh, the hospitals are a lot more sophisticated but imagine it to be uh, 150 years back or so uh, and he starts his his career journey by joining the hospital and uh, uh, based on his specialization he joins uh, uh, a hospital which has which has uh, uh, specifically uh, two clinics uh, and and why I am stressing on uh, on 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 one fifty years as as it because is I, I, we we all understand that that I mean in in uh, in, in those times if if some sort of uh, health concern appears uh, it it would be very hard to uh, recover from those and then there were a lot of casualties which usually used to happen right because I think. Uh, the the practice itself was not that uh, advanced. So he joins a hospital which has two clinics. What what he understands by 
by observing uh, the hospitals by observing the uh, the patients is that the uh, patients are reluctant to go to hospital one and then they they always choose to go to uh, 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 the another uh, clinic or hospital so let's let's call those clinics clinic one and uh, clinic two uh, so so all patients are suggesting that I don't want to go to clinic one I, I only want uh, or I prefer very 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 much prefer to go to uh, clinic two uh, and 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 think about it all these patients are uh, uh, pregnant uh, uh, women uh, so so they are at a very critical stage of uh, their health uh, so uh, so their preference is primarily driven by what they have heard about the specific clinic and what they have heard about the specific clinic is a lot of patients who who get admitted to that clinic does not uh, uh, survive or the chances of survival are, are very low in in clinic one and uh, the chances of survival are very high in clinic two uh, so uh, and then and, and what what he also observes is is, is that patients are literally kind of uh, uh, begging and getting agitated uh, towards not getting admitted to clinic uh, one versus uh, uh, clinic two. Uh, so see, so he 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 uh, he he, uh, he he thought th- this is this is very interesting because uh, as as being a healthcare professional, uh, he thinks he needs to contribute to this uh, as as there is uh, a challenge to uh, health of pregnant women and then there is a uh, higher chance of. Uh, a survival in specific clinic versus not so so there are some casualties also which are happening because of uh, uh, this and he you know, he observes uh, uh, the practices in 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 both clinic 1 as well as uh, clinic 2 and that after significant uh, studies probably couple of years of work and all what what conclusion he reaches is 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 that uh, there are physicians or doctors who are uh, uh, who are uh, uh, e- either moving from uh, those different floors of those uh, specific clinics and and then uh, he concluded that 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 they might be carrying germs on their hands and then then because of those germs infections or similar uh, challenges are happening to the health of patients and then and then they are unable to recover from those uh, those and and then casualties are happening uh, what he does is he uh, actually uh, speaks with 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 the with with the uh, uh, with with the staff of the hospital and suggests that i think this is what i feel and then uh, uh, we have certain specific uh, 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 chlorinated chemical or so through which we should we should clean our hands and then uh, they then go to other floor or initiate another uh, uh, surgery. Uh, so so th- think about it. It's 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 one fifty years back. So one fifty years back, he he is is proposing some sort of. Uh, uh, proposing some sort of cleanliness which is off germ free. So I hope you are getting what I'm about to say. It is, it is very, uh, very hard, right? And for, for people to understand, think, think about it. Uh, it's, it's very hard to propose a change and adopt to a change. Let me give you an example which is, which is not in healthcare. So, so, so contextually you can understand. Think about it. If I right now say that, Let's ban diesel cars because they are not good for environment. Everyone should only use battery powered cars. Now think about it. With this decision or with this, with this observation, lot of uh, uh, users who have diesel cars will not be happy. Lot of uh, manufacturers who make diesel cars will not be happy. Lot of people who sell diesel will not be happy, and that 
population is is probably more than 30 to 40 percent, then it's very hard to convince those. Uh, so hope you understand my point. It's 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 very hard to create a point of view against an establishment. So when he says that there might be germs which are being carried over by by human beings, it's a very hard thought to understand. So the the entire hospital or medical community in that city uh, rejects his ideas. Uh, his seniors, his his friends, uh, uh, or the uh, other physicians in the hospital, uh, they, they feel bad. They feel uh, offended. Uh, and, and 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 surprisingly, see see see. And and what happens is if 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 someone with with a strong viewpoint emerges, which is challenging the entire ecosystem. Uh, uh usually usually a lot of times the 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 management takes harsh decisions against them so in this case ignaz also actually gets removed from that hospital and he's he he's he's forced to leave the city now think about it this 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 person this physician says that i have observed something this is this is this is a very critical matter i know the solution but he gets removed from the hospital he is forced to leave the uh, the city and i think what what uh, based on my studies what i understand is eventually he is he is he is sent to uh, uh, the mental hospital and eventually uh, he expires uh, in in that uh, uh, in that environment but 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 the think about it now now what 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 is what 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 is that can be learned from his career journey uh okay uh eventually we'll see what happens to his research as well but now think about it his career journey is is, is one thing is he has a very deep analytical mind because l- looking at both clinics in the hospital uh understanding the pain of uh, patients of uh, having an empathy for uh, for pregnant women then analyzing it analyzing it over a period of years reaching to a conclusion all these need uh, a significant or deep analytical mind which which he has he's also driven by uh, a purpose which is nothing but i am a healthcare professional and and i am born to save patients it is my duty to save the patients and 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 he is he is very good at art so i think that those are the three very key skills which uh, he possesses now let's go back to what what happens to his research post once after uh, uh his, his death uh, a couple of other uh, uh, does research in this similar direction and they found that whatever ignaz was proposing uh, whatever solution also he gave of of uh, cleaning hands is 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 the right uh, solution and then and and then that they actually implement that solution so slowly slowly the change is about to uh, happen so this is that's what in my mind i think ignaz is one of the Uh, the fascinating uh, finest healthcare professionals uh, of of all time uh, he is still remembered uh, in 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 uh, uh, in 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 the university uh, and i think uh, if if you wish to study more he is called as saviors of mothers because he is he is the one who uh, who has helped a lot of uh, pregnant uh, women and he absolutely deserves the uh the title of uh, uh savior of uh, of of mothers because he helped a lot of a lot of uh, i think uh, especially not just pregnant women but but other patients also who uh who have been saved by this and and i think uh, if i had to put it in in very simple words i think that ignited an entire uh evolution that all healthcare professionals should uh, should should always uh, uh wash their hands 
uh, their hygiene is very critical. Uh, they have to be uh, wearing uh, the clothes. And, and uh, uh, in most recent times during pandemic also, we have seen that even if non-healthcare professionals were uh, used to use sanitizers just to make sure that the uh, that 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 their hands are clean and then they are not spreading uh, uh, the germs from their uh, 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 their hands to uh, anyone else or to themselves uh, as well. And and uh, and I think uh, the biggest aspect is based on that as well. I think the importance of that one single thing of uh, washing hands, keeping uh, the uh, hands clean uh, uh, from healthcare professionals has has. Uh, triggered something called as Global Hand Washing Day, which is which is in in uh, 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 October, and uh, I think uh, uh, Ignaz is the one who 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 actually initiated uh, a moment for it. Uh, so I am deeply deeply uh, grateful to Ignaz to his uh, to his research to his analytical mind uh, to uh, uh, the relentless pursuit he has for. Uh, proving that that he's correct and the world needs to change uh, as per uh, his point of view and this is this is uh, uh, this is the story of uh, Ignaz I, I deeply appreciate uh, uh, his his uh, 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 his efforts and with that uh, I I, uh, I end today's episode I believe you have learned something today if you uh, uh, if you follow uh, Learning Corner, let us know what you feel uh, in 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 the comment section. If you wish to learn something about uh, a specific topic, let us know. Uh, we will think about uh, considering that topic in the uh, in the future. And then uh, uh, like, share, and subscribe uh, Swasa channel for more uh, interesting episodes in the future. Thank you, everyone.